of you might be asking, you might be wondering, how are aircraft investigations carried out? That's what we want to get to at this particular time and bring that for you. First things first, international protocol dictates that aircraft investigations are handled by the country in which a crash occurs. In this case, Ethiopia will take the lead. But of course, others can come in and assist. The airline manufacturer, we know that Boeing has already sent investigators to Ethiopia and other affected countries have also sent and have asked to provide assistance. Kenya has sent a team there, the United States and many others. But what do these investigators, and we can call them technical experts, what are they looking for? When they get there, they'll secure the area, they'll document, they'll map and collect evidence. And two pieces of evidence that, that uh, investigators normally look out for is one, the black box, which is actually two different devices. One is the cockpit voice report recorder, and another is the flight data recorder, and these will provide crucial leads. Now, one records the recent history of the flight, that's the flight data recorder, and the other records any sounds that were in the cockpit over a certain number of flights, including the sounds of the pilots as they were speaking. Now, both have been recovered for that ill fated airline. Now, the investigators will also record interviews with eyewitnesses, survivors, and analyze any audio or video recordings. And of course, a lot of this might happen in this era when everyone has a smartphone. And finally, if you're waiting to know how long it will take before the investigations are completed, it could take anywhere between 45 to 60 days, up to several months and even years. And of course, bearing in mind, a lot could change in regards to that, that caused the investigations or the investigators to keep working until they're sure they know how or you know, how this actually took place.